Hi there. So this is a 40% custom keyboard inspired by the plank keyboard. But the thing with the plank keyboard is it came with the wire only options without any wireless connectivity and kind of heavy for just a small keyboard. So I managed to add a Bluetooth connection, also reducing the weight compared with the original plank keyboard. I still have a couple of videos and photos from back then when I'm building this keyboard, so here we go. So basically this is everything you need to build the keyboard and I'm going to explain a bit more about all of these components. I'm using this open source Contra PCB since it has similarities with the blank keyboard minus the LEDs but with a lot more options. As for the switches, I was looking for a silent switch so I can use the keyboard in a public area without getting any attention and my choice falls to this Ultima switch. Well I guess this is the only stabilizer you're going to need for your spacebar. And for the MCU, the heart of the keyboard, well, if I may say, I'm gonna use the DIY version of Nice Nano, which is the NRF Micro. So this microcontroller already have a Bluetooth capability and later on, you're gonna need a battery to power up the Bluetooth. Last but not least, you're gonna need diodes for the switches. First thing to do is to solder all the diodes to the PCB since diode is one direction only so be careful with the polarity. I use pin headers to make the MCU sockable but first you need to solder all the pin headers to the MCU footprint. To create a socket for the MCU, you need to cover the pin headers with a mask tape, align the MCU with the pin headers, and you could use the remaining pieces of diode legs as the male pin. And then punch all the diode legs through the mask tape, and finally solder all the diode legs to the MCU. After that, remove the MCU from the socket clear the mask tip and test the PCB. So this is the final look of the PCB. As you can see, I have installed the battery beside the MCU and soldered the cable to the pin headers instead of the MCU so the MCU can still be removed safely. I also made the PCB hot swappable using the rivets if you watched my previous video. So here comes the exciting part. To have less weight keyboard, I have come up with the idea to use a cardboard for the case. This is also a DIY so I don't use or design any pattern for this. It was like spontaneously measure, cut, and repeat. It only cost me one cardboard and two hours duration for the making. And it turns out great and quite sturdy to hold a small keyboard by the way. I have an extra fox leather, so instead of painting the cardboard, I used the leather to cover the outer side. So this is also a DIY, measure, cut, and glue at the end. If you mess up with the glue, you will end up starting all over again. I use paper clay to make a screw placeholder. So instead of finding the right size of the standoff, I'm using the nylon or plastic one because it's a lot easier to cut and adjust the height of the standoff. And to make it firm and strong, I combine it with an epoxy glue. And then fill up the empty space of the case with extra foam so it doesn't sound like a beatbox while you're typing. 
and assemble all together and get ready for a sound test. Okay, that's all guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and see you later.